Unlock the door to the Crypt of Memories and wander back to that electrifying moment when the dim glow of the television unveiled a world of chilling suspense and macabre delight. Ah, yes, the year was 1989, and a series called Tales from the Crypt slithered its way into our living rooms, leaving an indelible mark on our psyches. Can you recall that shiver racing down your spine as the Crypt Keeper's sinister cackle echoed through the room? Or perhaps it was the tantalizing blend of horror and humor that ensnared your imagination. Each episode was a ticket to a carnival of twisted tales, where every twist and turn left you both horrified and utterly enthralled. Picture those late nights when you huddled under blankets, eyes glued to the screen as you journeyed through the darkest corridors of the human psyche. And who could forget those unforgettable twists that left your jaw hanging, your mind racing, and your heart pounding. The show wasn't just a series, it was an experience that stirred something primal within us, igniting a fascination for the eerie and the unknown. But now, let's draw back the curtain and unveil some cryptic truths about this iconic show. Did you know that the Crypt Keeper's puppeteer, Kevin Yeager, was a mastermind behind the creature effects in Nightmare on Elm Street? And as fate would have it, many of Hollywood's finest talents made their mark on the show, both in front of and behind the camera. The cryptic universe of this series was a breeding ground for creativity, where horror and artistry danced hand in skeletal hand. So, gather round as we dig up these nuggets of knowledge about the show that kept us up at night, tantalizing our imagination with tales that sent shivers down our spines. Let's uncover the secrets, the lore, and the behind-the-scenes magic that made tales from the crypt an unforgettable chapter in the annals of television history. Dream, dream. Tales from the Crypt, unveiling dark delights of the 1989 TV series in the eerie realm of television, where the macabre meets entertainment. One series stood out like a haunted monolith, Tales from the Crypt. Premiering in 1989, this anthology of horror captivated audiences with its spine-chilling narratives. Yet, behind the crypt doors lie secrets and tidbits that continue to tantalize. Notably, the mastermind behind the series, Robert Zemeckis, once harbored his own Halloween tradition. As a young man, he didn't turn to traditional ghoulish flicks. Instead, he found solace in his own creation. Tales from the Crypt became his haunting companion on Halloween nights. This twisted devotion speaks volumes about the allure of the show even to its creators. A hallmark of Tales from the Crypt was its concise storytelling, a rarity in the world of television. Clocking in at an average of 26 to 29 minutes per episode, the series offered bite-sized horror that left audiences both horrified and craving more. Removing the Crypt Keeper segments and factoring in the lengths of individual stories, episodes spanned around 22 to 27 minutes. However, an exception to this temporal norm was the episode titled Yellow, which ominously stretched to a daunting 44 minutes. But fear knows no calendar, and in 1994, a spectral surprise greeted fans during the holiday season. The Crypt Keeper, the show's puppet host, serenaded listeners with a Christmas album titled Have Yourself a Scary Little Christmas. This ghoulishly delightful departure from convention showcased that even amidst tinsel and tidings, the show's dark charm held its grip. From Zemecki's spectral Halloween companion to the brisk and terrifying episodes, Tales from the Crypt carved its own tombstone in television history. With unexpected turns and unearthly tales, it continues to remind us that fear is timeless, and sometimes, it comes gift-wrapped. Comes gift-wrapped. Comes gift-wrapped. Tales from the Crypt, unveiling the chilling saga beyond the TV screen, two silver screen ventures emerged from the crypt of the 1989 TV series Tales from the Crypt, captivating audiences with their macabre allure. Demon Knight and Bordello of Blood, released as spin-off movies, extended the show's dark narrative to theaters. However, a third installment, Ritual, was originally intended to perpetuate the cinematic streak, only to stray from its cryptic origins until 2006. The series, stemming from William M. Gaines' twisted imagination, found an unexpected collaborator in Robert Zemeckis. Their union birthed a spine-chilling moment in the episode and all through the house. Here, Zemeckis coerced a blood-curdling scream from Mary Ellen Trainer in the climactic scene, elevating the terror to a crescendo that lingered long after the episode's end. What began as a modest blueprint for three seasons, Tales from the Crypt mutated into a seven-season odyssey of the eerie and uncanny. The show's unexpected longevity mirrored its popularity, leaving an indelible mark on horror television. 
Tragically, William M. Gaines, the mastermind behind the series, witnessed only the first three seasons before passing away, never fully witnessing the twisted saga's evolution. From the cryptic depths of the show's conception to its unforeseen expansion, tales from the crypt unraveled tales that crept into our collective nightmares. Its legacy, a testament to both Gaines' vision and the audience's insatiable appetite for the macabre, continues to cast a chilling spell over the realms of horror and television. Tales from the Crypt, unveiling the macabre enigma in the annals of television history. Few series have etched their names into the collective psyche as indelibly as the 1989 masterpiece, Tales from the Crypt. A concoction of horror, suspense, and gallows humor, the show weaved its narratives with a distinct eeriness that kept audiences riveted. While every cryptic tale bore its own morbid allure, one facet of the show's swan song season added an unexpected twist, a transatlantic shift. For its final season, the production took a leap across the pond to England, a move that raised both eyebrows and intrigue among die-hard fans. The reasons behind this transcontinental migration were as shrouded in mystery as the show's own narratives. Nonetheless, the change in scenery lent the series a fresh backdrop, adding a subtle but palpable shift in atmosphere as it bid its farewell. The cobblestone streets and mist-laden landscapes seemed to seamlessly merge with the show's macabre essence, creating a fittingly enigmatic finale. Amidst the grim tapestries of tales from the crypt, one tale stands as a testament to the art of casting. The man who was deaf. The mastermind behind this chilling episode, Walter Hill, employed a unique stipulation before casting William Sadler in the lead role. Legend has it that Sadler, destined to portray the titular character, secured his position only after pledging to channel his audition's essence into his performance. This unorthodox pact not only showcases Sadler's commitment, but also underscores the creative audacity that coursed through the show's veins. The show's tendrils of influence extended beyond the small screen, weaving connections to cinematic realms. Enter Death Becomes Her, a cult classic directed by none other than the show's own producer, Robert Zemeckis. Whispers within the industry often label the film as an extended episode of Tales from the Crypt. Remarkably, Zemeckis helmed this darkly comedic gem while concurrently orchestrating the television series. The duality of his role injected a shared thematic DNA into both mediums, solidifying his reputation as a maestro of the eerie and uncanny. As the Crypt Keeper's laughter fades into television history, the legacy of tales from the Crypt persists. A show that dared to unshackle the boundaries of the mundane, it infused horror with a devilish grin and a wink. The final season's English escapade, the audacious casting pact, and the eerie connection to Zemecki's directorial endeavor, these strands interweave to form a complex tapestry of storytelling that continues to haunt our collective imagination. And there you have it, a glimpse into the crypt secrets, 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 cryptic chronicles, unveiling the unearthly tales from the crypt step into a realm where horror's chilling grasp intertwines with the mysterious and the macabre. Tales from the Crypt, the iconic television series that sent shivers down the spines of millions in 1989, held secrets beyond its cryptic exterior. Though some assumed its tales were solely plucked from the 1950s EC comics, the truth is more enigmatic. Not merely content with the hauntings of the Tales from the Crypt comic book series, the show delved into the eerie realms of the Vault of Horror, the Haunt of Fear, Crime Suspend Stories, Shock Suspend Stories, and Two-Fisted Tales comic book series. Brought to life on screen by HBO, this anthology of horror narratives emerged from an unexpected metamorphosis. Originally conceived as a trilogy-style feature film, fear lingered in the hearts of the producers. Fearing a cinematic cataclysm, the project transformed into a television series. A wise choice, for the history of horror cinema was riddled with the failures of trilogy-style horror movies at the box office. Among the show's arcane undertakings lay plans for a spin-off, Two-Fisted Tales. Fox had ventured into this abyss with a pilot in 1991, inspired by the 1950s EC comics of the same moniker. Yellow, Showdown, and King of the Road, episodes meant to christen the spin-off, fell into the hands of HBO after FOX's rejection. The Crypt Keeper, that enigmatic puppeteer of the eerie, linked his segments to these tales, etching his cackling presence into the show's unholy tapestry. 
As the Crypt Keeper beckoned viewers into his lair, where coffins creaked and the unknown lurked, tales from the Crypt unearthed narratives beyond its ink and paper origins. With twists and terrors, it crafted a legacy of shadowy storytelling that continues to echo in the crypts of pop culture. This chilling odyssey into the realms of horror tapped not only into the iconic tales from the Crypt comic book series, but also the sinister sagas of the Vault of Horror, Haunt of Fear, Crime Suspend Stories, Shock Suspend Stories, and Two-Fisted Tales. Transformed from a trilogy film concept, the show found life on television screens, avoiding the chilling fate of box office horror. FOX's spin-off plans birthed episodes that HBO embraced, crafting a darker, interconnected narrative. As the Crypt Keeper's maniacal laughter resounded, tales from the Crypt etched its indelible mark on the annals of horror. Of horror. As the eerie echoes of the Crypt Keeper's laughter fade into the shadows, we find ourselves at the crossroads of memory and macabre. Tales from the Crypt wasn't just a TV series, it was a journey into the enigmatic corners of our imagination, a plunge into the deliciously chilling depths where the unexpected danced hand and bony hand with the uncanny. Each creaking door, each twisted plot, each ghoulish twist of fate reminded us that life's tapestry is woven with threads of the inexplicable and the unknown. Whether you were a devoted fan who tuned in religiously or stumbled upon an episode late at night, the Crypt Keeper's tales undoubtedly carved a cryptic chamber within your recollections. Think back to those moments when you gasped in shock, laughed nervously, or stared wide-eyed into the screen, ensnared by the grip of suspense. It's in these shared shivers that our connection to tales from the Crypt lives on. It's the peculiar warmth we find in revisiting the eerie corridors of memory, where the haunting echoes of those stories still linger. So, here's your invitation. Take a stroll down that dimly lit memory lane and unearth the secrets you've tucked away. Share your most cherished tales, your spine-tingling favorites, and the moments that left you both thrilled and haunted. Let the world know how the Crypt Keeper's tales painted a unique masterpiece in the gallery of your mind. Thank you for venturing through the cryptic tales with me, for embracing the shivers and smiles that this series brought into our lives. Your time and enthusiasm are appreciated more than words in a dusty tome. Until we meet again to explore the unknown, remember, the cryptic echoes still whisper, waiting to be revisited, reimagined, and cherished anew.